Oui, allô Ouais, ok. Vous êtes là Ok. On va descendre. A tout de suite. Ils arrivent. Ago, we 
started discussing with uh, CNC Step, uh, the producer of our, what I think, great CNC machine that I've been using for five years, uh, high ZS 1000T. Uh, it's a great machine in the way that it is precise, it is doing exactly what I need it to do, when I need it to do, and never fails, never stops or uh, doesn't start or anything like that. You just turn it on, ask it to work, and it's working flawlessly. So that's a good thing. Thank you very much CNC Step for making great machines and providing us with the new beast. Uh, it's a high ZS 1400T uh, and I'm really excited to get it started. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try to do today. The shop is empty, my colleagues are not here, so I can talk as much as I want in front of the camera and not be disturbed by any sound. So this is where we set up the machine. The shop is not huge and the machine is quite big. This piece is really nice. I like it. So this one's got the extra Z brackets to make it more rigid, uh, which I think we're gonna need on a number of jobs. And it's also got these linear guides, which probably help uh, in getting also a bit more rigidity uh, when it transmits from the Z to the X axis. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it performs on hard material and, you know, hardwoods and deep cuts and stuff like that. I've never really had any problems uh, with this one without all these options. Um, see, we don't we don't have the linear guide rails here. Um, it's like the machine when it's in the very middle and after five years of use, you know, I can I can make it wiggle if I push on the top of the axis here. Um, but it never showed in any of the works I've done or the jobs I've done. I've never had like uh, precision issues, at least working with wood most of the time. You don't need like less than 0.1 millimeter precision. Uh, so I wasn't worried about like the rigidity of the machine. I have never had any trouble with it, uh, but this should actually be even more rigid. So. The manual, uh, at first they only sent it to me in German and although I took German in high school and had a decent level, uh, definitely couldn't use it to install the machine. So they were kind enough to send it again uh, with some very cool t-shirts. Thank you CNC Step for the cool t-shirts. They're really high quality by the way. I think they may, they may be made in Germany. Yeah, I think they're made in Germany. looks good super easy so that goes here probably not even reading the manual but i mean come on we are going to plug the spindle probably and here is the coolant 